All right, friends. I will play the game. Like, let's go with the classic version, friend. Okay, this is your arena now. So I'll explain how this game works. While we are going one by one, I will not give you any instructions for the games oh. that we play. You will figure it out. Okay. So we have six ships here, and this is your boundary. This is what you are guarding. Okay. You can move around your ships like this and try to. You know, you can arrange these ships in whatever way you want. You can arrange it in a vertical manner, in an horizontal manner. Oops, what happened there? Oh boy! Let me arrange it. Yeah, in a horizontal manner, vertical manner. You can change the orientations as and when you want. Likewise, your en- your enemy is computed in this case. They will also do the same. You know your positions, but your enemy doesn't. Enemy knows its own position, but you don't. So you have to guess the coordinates to hit out the missile. Okay? You have to act as a team. Think if you want to spread out all your ships, or do you want it to be a lot close to you? So these are certain things that you need to think. Do you want your ships to be grouped together or to be far enough? Far. Far enough. Why? Because when they're all together, if you get one and you keep going, then it's easy to get all of them in one go. Because they're, if they're all touching, then like if you go along this way and you've hit one of the like hit like this and you hit like mm. this one and you go this way, you've already hit two. Yes. So friends, there is this concept called as area. Okay. If your surface area is basically spread out. Then your enemy should use more missiles to actually figure out where you are. It's like our hide and seek games, friends. If you're all in one place, you don't go and hide at the same place, right? You hide at different places because it takes that much of time for the seeker to go and find everybody. If you are all at one place, then the seeker just needs to find just that one area where you all are and you all are lose the game, right? Pretty much like that. If you're spread out in the surface area, you the chances of you losing will be pretty much less in this case. All right. All right, friends. This is called as a graph, or you can also say it as a map. So what it does is there is this much of area that you can target, that you can strike a missile upon. Okay, you can select which area you want to, which is called 14 by 14 grid. That is 196 boxes are here. You can strike any one of them, and you should see where else your enemy is hiding with the ships. Okay, now how do you call out which block to strike? First, you see the right. You move right. So Sophie has put seven comma seven. So what it means is you move the first seven means you move. Right, the seven blocks. Then you move up for seven blocks. So this is seven comma seven. If she would have told ten comma seven, that means ten blocks to the right, seven blocks to the left. Okay, you always have to call out that first. First to the right, then to the left. Usually, this whole horizontal thing is called as x axis, and vertical thing is called as y axis. Now let's go for seven comma seven. So seven blocks to the right, seven blocks up. Let's lock and load our missile. Boom. Okay, it did not really help. Where else? I want everybody to put it on chat. Just like what Sophie has done. Please put your numbers on chat. Try to see if you can come up with a strategy, friends. Twelve comma nine. Okay. Twelve digits to the right. Oops. Where is it? This one. And nine digits to the up. Boom. Let's see. Ah, no enemy ship. Let's. Okay, we are surviving. We are surviving. Hi. Three and four. Okay, three blocks to the right, four blocks to the up. Three comma four. Friends, this is called as coordinates. They have they have a name. That's it. Okay, we are surviving. Let's see. Mm, nine. Uh, five. Nine and five. Nine comma five. Okay. Ah, uh, no, no luck. Okay.
with you. Twelve two. Twelve and two. All right. Oh, did you guys see that? We hit something, friends. Now keep an eye out. Our ships are placed right. That means we have some of these blocks that are also ships. So we have to sink that ship, not just damage it. So try to go somewhere right, left, up or down of these blocks and figure out how the ship is located. Eleven and two. Eleven and two. Okay, let's go. No, it's not located this way. Maybe vertically. Try it out, friends. <laughs> Twelve three. Twelve three. Okay, there you go. Good job. I'll go for twelve one. Let's see. No, twelve one is not there. Oh, he has hit us. What is the next option that we have to use? Twelve four. Twelve four. That's it. Let's sink that ship. See, he's also doing the same thing. He's also trying to sink us. Okay. Okay. Let's see if this is done. Still, the ship is not sunk. So, oops, I missed it. Sorry. Okay, one of our ships is sunk. I think we got to do the same thing. There you go. Good job, friends. One on one. We both have sunk one each. Where do we go next? Need to find out another four ships or five ships. Five, three. Five and three. Okay. Think about it, friends. You have placed the ship here. Assume you have placed. Where else would you have placed one more? Seven four. Seven and four. Okay, that's nice. Ooh, good job. Second location of the ship. Okay, where do we want to go? Six four. Let's, six four. Okay. Oh, six and four, right? We did six and four. It did not work. You can either. I think it should be up because it's just four spaces, so not much space. It should be somewhere in the vertical, I guess. Yeah. All right, friends. Quick thing. If if you get logged out out of Zoom, just join back the same thing, okay? I will try to finish it, but just in case, we will play for another three minutes. Then I will tell you why this was needed. Okay, let me destroy the ships. Okay, he, the computer is destroying one of us. Boom! This is a U-boat, friends. That means it takes twice the thing, so it's okay. They have some two. We will also sunk for another one of these. Right, another two shots. Oh, they have found out our third ship, which is not a good news for us. Okay, no problem. Let's sink one off. Okay, where else could the next ship be? Your choice, friends. Quickly. Three, where two. is the next? Sorry. Three two. Was that? Three ten. Okay, three ten. Oh, nice shot. Good job. Let's go horizontal and then vertical. Let's see. Okay, it should be working. Let's try this out. Yes.
yeah it's a three block yeah. three blocks together so this is one three block together this is one more here is one more so 4.3 okay 4 comma 3 is also a good option 6 comma 9 is one of it yes we did it just two more horizontal or vertical friends where do you want to go vertical joshua says vertical that's brilliant joshua one more final shot good job friends you secured the border for us good job all right quick think what did you learn from this why did we play this game and what did you learn good job team spain portugal uk india good job friends what did you learn from this game why did we play this game I like this game. I like it too, Sophie. Okay, why did we play this game? There should be some something, right? Something that says, hey, you know, let's play this game. Come on, friends. I want you all to talk. Okay, Sophie says to spread out. Yes, that's correct. What else? Why Why do we play this game? Any idea? Does this happen any time in real life? Have you ever thought about it? Is this a game that happens in real life? It does. Wait. If they say it happens in real life, why not? Let's see it. Ladies and gentlemen. Let us see this. Oh, I have to. I'll give running commentary and disturb as, as much as possible, but <laughs> try to take this out. If it's too loud, probably I will. Okay. See that they use a different kind of map to map where their location is. Contact me. Starboard zero one one eight seven hundred yards, sir. Right, standard road. So basically, you use your steering to turn your cars, right? And the wheels help you to turn. In ships, there is something called rudder that helps you to sway the ship. Okay. Contact me. Contact me. Starboard zero one two eight six hundred yards, sir. Mr. Lopez, stand by with a medium pattern. And I'm ready, sir. Contact me. Point zero zero. Center first. Contact me. Point zero zero one eight five hundred yards, sir. Contact me. Contact inside minimum sonar range. Contact inside minimum sonar range, sir. Hydrophone strong, very strong. Hydrophone strong, very strong, sir. Oh, screw, screw, sir. He's trying to slip under us. Now, Mr. Lopez, roll and fire. So, what did you do? You fired missiles, right? Same thing happens over here. Please watch it carefully. Oh, let's check it. Go. Was it M? Maintain our present heading. Right, sir. Sonar, when we come about, standard sweeps on both our bows. Sonar bridge. When we right, test Escort Greyhound, we have engaged the enemy, but no hits on my drop. Our last contact had him buried 295 directly for the convoy. Tighten up your screens. He will be within firing range of the convoy unless. Oil, Star B! Oil, Star B! Back to yards! Back to yards, sir! This is the captain. It seems we sank that target. This was an all-hands job. All right. This is what happens, actually. Here, you played very static, right? Only your boats were there. It was not moving. There, your group of ships will be in contact with each other. But the other person will also be moving. So it's even more tactical, strategical, and difficult and challenging. And it uses a lot of maps and a lot of other things as well. So I wanted you to recap. I wanted you to know that this happens in real life. The movie name is Greyhound. Please watch it. It shows how to be under calm, under pressure, and how to use mathematical calculations really well. Knowing of coordinates, knowing of map, and being strategical, spreading out, keeping it together, orientation, all these things. With that, friends, we are finishing today's class. I'll come up with games next week as well, so that I don't start off with a topic and leave you off for holidays. We'll start with a new topic. With that, thank you so much. I enjoyed having you all. I hope you enjoyed the lesson as well, and math lessons will be like these friends. Thank you so much. Apologies for the extra time that I took, and I'll see you soon next week. Thank Bye. you. Have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.